Hi, it's Nika from Fabulously Creative and I am so excited because I have a new project to share with you. I will be doing memory planning in my happy planner. This size is the Happy Notes or Happy Nietzsche, whatever you want to call it. But it is like half a page of the classic Happy, happy Planner. And I have been using this as my planner. I set this up a while back. And when I set it up, I created a section for memory planning. And I never put anything in there because I could not figure out like what type of layout. So I created this memory planning insert. I will have the um I will have the insert if you want to try it in your planner. You can download it. I have it in my Facebook group. You can go there and download this one. Plus, I think there's a few other ones. Um, I did write on here so I know what size the box is. It is not like the standard Happy Planner size boxes. The height, I wrote down 2.93 tall by 1.75 inches wide. That's what that stuff is written down. But I am very excited. So the first thing I did. Oh, let me show you my little. I have some little supplies. I have pulled out my little tree. I have these Maggie Holmes flowers. Because I, I don't know. I feel like flowers are, flowers are universal. I do have some random planner. Some random planner stickers right there. And some stuff I pulled out for this layout that I thought would work. I'm just going to sit there right there and some scrap paper and lots and lots of tiny alphas and then over here I had let me see this is mainly just um new stuff all of this is from what is always say her name pay this these are from the, la the uh, Paige Evans collection. One is Pick Me Up and I think the other one is Horizon. And then this is just some random stuff from my stash that I pulled out. And I have already selected, I've already kind of selected my papers that I wanted to use. Uh oh, and basically I just went through my stash and just cut down, just cut down some papers that I thought would fit. And I don't know, I feel like this is, I feel like it's similar to, it's more similar to a project life layout than a memory keeping because I know with the, uh, I mean memory planning with the memory planning spreads most of them they have the days and the dates across the top but since this is not a full size planner like it's going to be impossible to get those dates and days across the top so I just made the boxes a little bigger I think that's where I wanted that and I kind of pulled these papers out ahead of time or I cut my little scraps ahead of time and this project is mainly like this is going to be like my personal album so it won't be any like any family memories this is well basically just be like my creative process any creative projects that i'm working on like pictures of my planner my office just whatever crafts i was working on And my pictures are printed on, I don't think this is from this week. I don't know, what was I saying? Oh, my pictures are printed on just regular paper. I didn't, I don't know, I didn't um, use any photo paper because number one, I don't have any and <laughs> I don't know, since my my Canon selfie it didn't break the quality just started going down since that happened I just started printing on just regular paper and I don't know it just seems it seems to work out just fine and especially for a project like this I mean it's fine if you don't have photo paper 
You can use just regular, regular copy paper or cardstock. Cardstock is a little easier to work with, but I find that regular paper prints, I don't know, you get a better quality with just plain paper. So this is, I don't know, kind of my little, kind of how I want things to go. So let's speed this up. Let's embellish this. Let's see what I come up with. Because this is, this is actually my first process. Or my first layout in this little album slash project.
right so this is the finished product i hope you enjoyed this layout i like the way it came out and i also like the way i like the fact that it is in my planner and you all do not understand how happy that made me to put that week one like i was doing project life again i'm not sure if this this will stay every week but so far so good let me know what you guys think of this new process or this new I don't even know what to call it. Let me know if you, what you guys think of this new project. And I will see you guys in my next process video.